Tail, just like Jonah and the whale, no place I'd rather be. Yes, we're casting out a line, everybody's feeling fine. That's fishing, that's fishing, yeah, that's fishing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, who should? Zip it. Hi and welcome to That's Fishing guys. Now, we're going to bring a little bit of the past back. We're using one of our old tuna shows that we've had a lot of people ask us about, so we decided to replay it on this particular night. Now, Dan here with Michael from Hooked on Bait and Tackle, and we're going to be doing some tackle talk about uh, some of these beautiful lures that we've done, which is towards the end of the, well, the middle of the show, I should say keep mucking up my words here, <laughs> but uh, it's all good. Um, now we've had a real lot of people ask us about our, our tuna show that we've done, because it is tuna season at the moment, and there's a lot of people down at uh, Portland catching a lot of tuna at the moment, and we were down there with my good mate Richo, who uh, taught us an awful lot about tuna fishing just ever so recently, and um, and there's just so much to learn, isn't there, Mick, about tuna? You know, we well, think I know a fair bit about it, but I really don't. Yeah. And it's one of those things you'll learn every time you go out there, you'll keep learning that a little bit more, more. and uh, yeah, we go out again, we'll yeah. learn something different. Yeah. And we went out on Richard's boat, unfortunately it was just physically too rough and the boat was just too wet for me to pull out any of my camera gear to do it, but uh, to do any filming at all. But I tell you what, just to be there and learn so much with someone who's, who's done so well, um, the good mate Richo, he, it, it really is something else. But uh, just before we get into the show, guys, get down here with Mick. Look at all these lures here. Every style of lure that you need for tuna fishing, these guys have got it all. Rods, reels, you can line up, braid. Anything hooks. that you want, any concept that you want to run, we can help you out with that and get you sorted out pretty quickly. And you can do the old uh, line, we can up. We can do your rigging up for rigging you as well. We, you, yeah, yeah, we get that all done. And, do uh, the braids and all that. Do all your braids and so forth. Doubles and... Anything you need done, we can uh, get that done. No, for I've you. had a fair crack, crack recently doing doubles, and I'm not really good at it. <laughs> a bit more practice, we'll have to oh, show you a I couple. There's of... got to be a lot more practice than that, mate. I'll, tell you, I'll give you the tip. We'll get so, you there. So it's easier to come here and have a cup of coffee and get it done. That's honestly, exactly right. guys. We'll kick back and enjoy one of our old shows, Tuna Fishing with Mad Dog Morgan, and my good mate uh, Big Tones, and uh, we're on Sharky's boat, Sharkman's uh, charter. So uh, kick back and enjoy. Enjoy. How you going, folks? Here we are off Portland in the Southern Ocean on uh, Sharkman Charters. Absolutely beautiful. The weather is just sensational. A little bit lumpy, but it's beautiful. The sun's coming out. As you can see, we've got the rod set. Uh, waiting for a hit now. We've been trolling for about 15 minutes. Um, we're probably only about 10 k's offshore and uh, hope to get a bit of a hit very shortly. Lyrics on, Mark. Go, on, Mark. There you go. Oh, we've got another lure, it's alright. 
Zone. I know it, mate. Action starting. Have we got one in? Pretty close now. Here we go. Hey, come to the service. Now that's the fish to get the pitch with. Still bleeding. Another one. Get ready, bleed this fella. Oh, sorry, mate. No, you're right. There they are. Another couple. Oh, Let's do it again. Got 
Battle scars, mate. Battle scars. It's all good. It is all good, mate. Screaming reels. Blood's pumping through the forearms. Doesn't get any better, mate. That's really good. Right, now we got unfortunately with tuna fishing. A bit of blood. Yeah. We'll clean up and uh, we'll come back in a minute. They're just coming up on a school of fish now. Uh, hopefully we're going to have a quadruple hookup. That's what we want. One would be good, but four would be better. No more. That's why I keep going. Right, I'm going to have more. Jones on again. Come on around, dude. Alright, we got double. Took him is because he is hooked in the eye. Uh, okay. Right. He's a predator. He won't survive if we let him go with the eyesight in one eye. We're on again. That's what it's about. Oh, look at that. You see him jumping out of the water? It's hiding. Right with the birds. Look at that boy jumping. Yes. Oh, look at that. I love that sound. I love that. They're all breaking up behind us. Eric, just on the right. How good do you get it? They're coming straight at us. Everywhere the birds are, they're fish jumping. Look at that. Right up, we got that one. Coming in, yeah. Who's up first? Take it over up. Yep, I'm sure Oh, good fish. Oh, good size fish. Real good looking fish. Oh. There we go. Ready? Oh, Hi, this is Big Tones here again. Here we are back at the ramps at Portland. Fish have been bled aboard Sharky's boat. We're in the process of quartering fish up, ready to put on ice in freezer bags and head home. Hope you liked our day out on the water. Got a good catch and some great fun with some great blokes. Hope to see you next time. I'm Big Tones and that's fishing. Hi, I'm Mick, and uh, today we're going to cook a bit of bluefin tuna. We've got some lovely bluefin steaks here. Here we're just taking the skin off the tuna. It, uh, you want a nice sharp knife. If you try cooking it with the skin on, it usually just shrinks up and makes the meat that much tougher. So always best so to take, take it take them over here and give them a nice dusting of seasoned flour. and straight into a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. The crew's looking a bit hungry. Oh, that smells fantastic. You don't want it too hot, it's quite a thick piece of fish. They say this is getting quite rare out there, the bluefin tuna. As you can see, the fish is nearly ready to turn. We've got the line nearly to the halfway mark. We'll turn this one first. Be nice to have it a little bit underdone in the centre. We don't want to dry it out. Look at that, beautiful. This first piece is nearly done. Mm. 
here's our lovely bluefin tuna. We'll put some salad on there just to finish it off. Some lovely avocado in there. Doused in lemon juice so it doesn't lose its colour. Maybe a bit of coleslaw. And there you have bluefin tuna and salad. Ready to eat. Enjoy. Well, I hope you're enjoying the show, our tuna special. But Mick, we've got some uh, new lures here from uh, Shimano, and uh, tell us a bit about them. There's a couple of new stick baits that have uh, been yep. launched by Shimano, designed over in Japan. You've got a couple of different sizes, a 160 yep. mil and a 190 mil. Right. These are the bigger fellas, these are 190 mil, and they're a floating model that they do. And very, very shortly, we'll have some sinking versions of them coming in the country too, which will be fantastic to use. Very, very easy lure to swim. It's just a, a zigzag motion through the water or a walk the dog style of motion through the water. And the way they've been designed, anyone can pick these up and, and use them and get a really, really good result. Fantastic for bluefin down here in southern Victoria. Okay, and when you say a flick bait sort of set up, it's... A stick bait, than, yeah. So or what the, stick bait, I should say, sorry. Yeah, the way they're designed, you lose away, they're designed, they're designed to kick through yeah. the water, nice and wide glide. So it's just a matter of grabbing down on your rod and just slowly pulsating your rod and you'll yeah. get that kick, kick, kick motion going through the water. Oh, okay. Don't then. need to do it at horrific speed or anything like that, just nice and slowly and just gently tap down on your rod and these guys will swim and do the, most of the work for you. And you've got plenty of these here? Plenty in stock and ready to go and, and, yep. and more versions of them coming over the, uh, over oh, the coming weeks, which is fantastic to see. Certainly come, yeah. Beautiful looking things, mate. We'll have yeah, to try, one day try them out. Get them up and get you into some more lure fishing yeah. and, and get you into this style of fishing. I did a bit catch more. a flathead. You're doing well. We're, <laughs> we're moving you forward. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you'll, you'll find these very, very easy to use. There are certain sick baits that are out there that are difficult to use yep. and, and, and can get a bit complicated. But these, the Shimano boys have done a fantastic job with these ones. Oh, excellent. Very, very easy to use. Now, we've also got some uh, skirted lures that we want to talk about today. And what's so special about these ones, mate? Oh, these are a new one that have come on the market. Um, by Adek Lures, they're a hand-carved wooden head yep. and they pulsate through the water exceptionally well. Different sizes depending on what guys are chasing and depending on what sort of fish are out there. They've got a really nice tight cup head on there and they'll just hold in the water and really shimmer, come up, breathe, come back down and work quite hard through the water, giving it a really, really good action that suit our tuna. Very, very, very well. well. And they uh, give a good jet trail at the back of it? Yeah, pulsate yep. and send plenty yep. of water out. Yeah, very, very good. The colour selections that are available from these guys are fantastic. Yep. And again, it suits what we, we have going on down here. So you've got your, your common colours that are fantastic, like your purples. Yep. All the way through to your lumos and yep. your evils. Um, yellowfin type tuna colours there as well. So not only for bluefin down here, yellowfin up the coast as well when they get going a little bit later on this year. They'll catch fish. Well, when we were at uh, tuna fishing just the other weekend with uh, Richo, we found that the tuna went on multiple different colours, but they really hit these purpley ones like this straight away. That's the first one off the gun, yep. uh, and then bang, all the others hit all the other different colours. They must have been coming up in the school. That's exactly yeah. right, and it's one of those things. We all have a variety of different colours to use because they will get fixated on certain colours. Yep. They're different to stick baits. There are certain days where your light colours will do the job if they're feeding yep. on white bait or guards that are skipping across yep. the surface. But if you've got souries and things like that showering around, we'll move into your darker purples and, and blacks and things like that. And we've got to match the hatch, so to speak. Yep, that's good. So these ones are for trawling and these ones are for casting. That's correct. It's yep. as simple as that, guys. Now, for any information about these, come see Mickey at uh, Hooked on Bait and Tackle or go to the website. That's fishing.com.au and you get to his. Yeah, you like that? That's nice and easy. Now the tackle talk for that's fishing. Catch up. Oi! 
jumping right out the water here. No, no, tuna. Big time with the first one to hit. Mark is on. Got double. Eric's just coming in. Eric's in. in. That's a little fella. It's all happening here. We've got doubles on that. Hold that. Here we go. Nice size tuna coming in. Better mark. Yeah, that's a better one. See what he's spewing up? Yeah, see the bait. Oh, he Mark's lost his. the back, lost him, mate. Just kidding. Yeah, come up with a chin. Got double. Put back the rod all the way up. Get the other rod out of his road as well. coming to the end of another show. Thanks a lot, Mick, for giving us a hand today. Absolute pleasure, as always. As always. Excellent stuff. And a real big thanks to a good mate, Mick, for uh, Mick the Chef, for cooking us up that uh, bit of tuna on the show. And believe you me, guys, it was really, really good. So we've got to get Mick back on next season and do some more uh, cooking for us. So uh, get your knives cleaned up, Mick, and get that frying pan happening because you're coming back, believe you me. But all right, we come to an end. Thanks for watching That's Fishing, and I hope you enjoyed our little tuna show that we've done a couple of years ago down at Portland. And uh, for any information for this big fella here, go to thatsfishing.com.au and uh, get to your website, mate. Thank you very much. So, another great day and another great show. Let's do it again. Do it again, and we're all done. Thanks for watching That's Fishing. <laughs>